widescreen games. A long time ago, in the Caribbean, the storms of the Devil's Triangle carried many a ship to the ocean depths. One of these, the Crooker, found herself overwhelmed by a supernatural force off the rocky shores of an uncharted island. Victims of its own greed, the crew of the Crooker had set sail in search of fortune, but instead had found only ruin. And yet, this isle did indeed hold treasure. A fabulous treasure accumulated over years of piracy. A treasure bathed in the blood and tears of the innocent, and gathered mercilessly by La Borne. La Borne. Her name alone was enough to set brave men trembling. This escaped slave wreaked vengeance on all her erstwhile tormentors and let none escape to tell the tale, except by her own strange desires. Was she served by fellow escaped slaves or were they demons? The Spanish crown could bear no more and sent the fearsome Don Roberto de la Cruz to hunt down and stop forever this devil woman. None know the outcome of this terrible battle, and while the greed of man runs deeper than the black depths of the ocean, the treasure has still not been found. Several years later, men begin to dream of a mysterious island and a magnificent treasure. There were many who set sail, their hearts filled with the cursed demon gold. Only to find death in the raging storms and cruel rocks. With only one survivor left pursue his golden dreams. Francis Blade, man of little account, turned rogue in search of a life of ease.
the, the amulet. Drawn by its strange light, Francis picked up the amulet. In his mind, he heard deep murmurings speaking of a pact of great power and treasure. Slowly, he raised the amulet over his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the meeting. Francis was not the only one searching the island. Vanilla had come looking for her father, Roberto de la Cruz, who had disappeared in pursuit of La Bourne. She now headed to the fort on the western shore. <laughs>